hey loves welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a get ready with me video for a girl's night out yes so if you're interested in seeing how i achieve this look please make sure that you stay tuned okay first of all i want to start with a little disclaimer i do not know anything about makeup <laughs> everything that i've learned about makeup has been on youtube and i am still learning so just please remember that <laughs> when you see this get ready with me video so as you see i primed my face and now i am uh, just filling in my eyebrows i use just a regular dollar pencil from the beauty supply and now I am just cleaning up those brows, girl. Yes, I'm using um, a concealer from Ruby Kisses. And um, it comes with two different shades. I'm using the lightest shade. I think it's level 11 to clean up my brows. And now I am color correcting all those dark areas on my face. Or just the more prevalent ones with my LA Girl Pro concealer in the orange color the color correcting one so I'm just blending that out and now I am priming my lids with um, LA girls pro concealer and I think fawn hey <laughs> and now I'm just blending that out with my fingers and I'm using the morphe 350 palette for this look and I'm gonna go with this reddish chocolate shade for my transition color and I love this color I love this palette because I'm like I really like nude colors so this just works for me and I didn't show the color for my mobile lid here I'm gonna show it in a minute but um, I mixed two colors together yes those two those two colors together for my actual lid and now I'm using a deep chocolate color for the outer corner V or the outer corner of my eye and I'm just blending that out blending for my life yes <laughs> but um, yeah so I'm blending and I'm wrapping I'm pretty much wrapping and I'm kind of blending at the same time Okay, that looks good. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to do what I hate to do, and that's my liner. It's such a tragedy when I try to do this because I just suck at it so bad. But this is from the Dollar Tree. I love this eyeliner. I think it's called Colors or something. And um, now I'm just putting on a little mascara. And I put my lashes on off camera and came back and I'm doing my concealer now or highlighting. And I'm highlighting with that same fawn color and just blending it out. And now I'm putting my foundation where I did not highlight. And my foundation, I think this is the Maybelline Fit Me in number 355. And I think it's called Cappuccino. I really like this one. And I'm just putting some foundation on my neck so that everything can blend together. And then, girl, you see that little burn mark I got on the side? That's from a pressing comb just fell on me. Tragedy, okay? Hurt my life. So, <laughs> anyway. Okay, so now I'm going to contour with the Black Radiance um, Contour Palette. I think it's called True, True Something, True Radiance. I'll put everything below. And their middle color, I'm just using that to set my under eye and everywhere that I highlight it. And as you notice, I don't really use a, a light highlighter because I just feel like that just works better for me and it's just a little bit more natural. And um, now I'm just using the darker shade and I am contouring my the hollows of my cheek and also up under my, beneath my neck and my forehead. Okay, now I'm using that same palette and I'm going to use the highlight color to just highlight my inner tear duct. And now I am lining my lips with that same brown pencil from the beauty supply. <laughs> and yes, just mixing that together because I'm kind of going for an ombre look. And this is NYX Lingerie 
matte lip color I forgot what color it is right now but I really love this color I normally mix it with my matte teddy velvet and now I'm just gonna set everything with my MYX matte mist spray or whatever it's called okay and now it is time for hair and <laughs> do not come for my braids in the comments y'all <laughs> I'm gonna make it happen I'm gonna make it work anyway so this is hair from a company called long key they are on aliexpress.com and i have the brazilian straight hair in 14 inches um i got three bundles and a 14 inch closure um that's a close up of the closure i bleached the knots and dyed the closure black with the rest of the hair and um i only use like a pack and a half for this wig um with the closure and i really like this hair it's really soft it flows um i've had minimum shedding or tangling the only thing that i would say is that it is a little thin on the ends so um like if you want like an 18 inch look i would maybe get a 20 inch or 22 to cut it to the length that you wanted to i will leave all of long keys information in the description box below and now let's get this wig on and situated now this is my finished makeup and hair look and now let's get into our outfit. Okay, so this outfit is all about being sexy and comfortable at the same time. I am wearing a top from Rainbow that was just like a long button-up tunic that I just tied up in the front. And then the jeans are from Gwenny B, just some acid wash skinny jeans. And then my favorite knee-high boots, which just add some sexiness and edge um, from Lane Bryant. I hope that you guys like this look and if you want to see more videos like this don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one.